Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as the recording of this is Thursday, November 28, 2024, also known as Thanksgiving. A day to give thanks for what you are grateful for, looking back on the past, looking to the future, and also focusing on the present. This is the holiday between Halloween and Christmas, kind of nestled right in the middle of two massive holidays when two holidays collide. They're colliding right now on Thanksgiving Day. I have plans later. I'm going to go to my parents. They're having a group of friends over. I'm going to be having a early afternoon late dinner with them. And just until then, I'm going to cruise around on my glorified golf cart Mini Marge. We grab a coffee, peruse around celebration, then go over to their place. Will not be filming my time with them and their friends. There will be plenty of family content coming up when big family trip going to Alani and Hawaii in December, middle of December. Upcoming soon, I will be making my departure out of Central Florida to start heading that way. And then other family members will be meeting me on the way there. But that's that's not for not another week, a little more than a week, give or take a day. Today is Thanksgiving and I am very grateful for my life was kind of reflecting a little bit last night before I went to sleep and then when I got up this morning of just the how grateful and how the timeline is of how things have progressed for me didn't really think I would be purchasing a house in celebration did not think I would be making a living doing a quote-unquote job traveling filming things, pointing out the obvious and making a career out of that when I quit the last nine to five-esque type of job, banker's hours job at a feed store. I worked retail for many, many years, Publix, Winn-Dixie, Office Max, etc., Walmart, 20 plus years working retail, stocking shelves. Never did I think when I started this YouTube channel, late 2009, early 2010, and then quitting my job in August, on August 9th of 2011, and starting to travel in my van, going across the U.S. and filming videos. Didn't even monetize my videos for another year, year and a half after that. Sleeping in the back of the van. Didn't think I would be where I am today. And in all reality, the reason for that is because of viewers like you, viewers who watch videos because if no one watched and no one cared, if no one was a kindred spirit and had the vested interests similar to the things that I'm showing and then has morphed into, you know, enjoying my life and things about me. Sometimes it's about the places I go. Sometimes it's, it's just, you know, daily life it's kind of morphed into more of a video diary. Kind of just become this thing now where I just go do stuff. And it's just self-propelled, self if you will. And I think out of everything, that is one of the things as far as my, again, quote unquote, job, career, that I am most grateful for. That it has just become this organic spinning wheel of just me living my life. And I'm able, I'm able to survive, put a little money away, I live my life. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of share that. But the biggest thing is the fact that people are interested, that people do tune in. Some people don't tune into every video, totally understandable. I do a lot of different content that some people might not like, some people aren't into. And there are those that, that watch everything, and there are those who watch none of it. I'm just blessed to be at that point. All right, I'm gonna cruise around celebration. And I'm inviting you <laughs> That's so cool. To join me. It's good to have you here. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope it's a good one. Shall you? It has certainly been a fun ride so far. Fun run that I've had doing these videos. 74 degrees right now here in town. It's gonna get up to 81. I just keep plugging along. 
time just keeps flying so quickly. One day when I'm old, I'll be able to look back and watch all the old videos and see the places I've gone, things I've done, paths I've traversed. I don't really look back at a lot of my older videos. I'm always concentrating on what the day is at hand with this you know, daily uploads and stuff. And next year, 2025, starts a new chapter of my life. International. Breathing a breath of fresh air into my soul, into my body, to the excitement. Of almost the same kind of excitement as I had when I originally started traveling across the U.S. in my van. Going into the unknown. The U.S does not seem unknown to me now. It seems very, very familiar everywhere around the U.S. So, kind of excited about a, about getting out of the U.S. and doing something different. A little mellow down here at the moment. I parked over here at the electric vehicle parking area. Plenty of parking down here today because people are spending time with their family and friend, close friends. And I'll be doing that soon enough. Gonna be heading over. Someone else there in there, Jim E4. Gonna get a little Starbucks over here. Get a little caffeinated for some family and friend time. Get a little uh, piping hot caffeinated beverage. Yeah, this is definitely a day. It's always kind of a day. Thanksgiving, yeah, my birthday also, but birthday, Thanksgiving, and New Year's are kind of like my three days of, of reflection. All right, coffee achieved. This is a Thanksgiving blend, the barista said I should try. So I said, okay, it's Thanksgiving. I'll get a Thanksgiving blend. Now this is definitely not how it normally is parking-wise down here. During the holidays, they put up these little tow-away zone things. I'm not sure where I used to live. I used to live over here for three years before I got the house. Now it was around this time of the year, last year, that I closed on the house and got the keys. But I didn't technically, officially, feel like I moved in and get everything moved in until the first of the year. And I turned in my keys a day or so before New Year's Eve. Wow, this is so wild how empty this is. This is a rare, this is rare. This is a Thanksgiving miracle right here. If there's parking in here. There's never, ever parking in here, 99% of the other time. But I used to live in the apartment right up there. Face Market Street it was right up there on the top third level. I'd walk up there every day. Moving in December, moving my stuff in December, when they were doing the snope and the Christmas decor on Market Street, the last snope, it was every hour, seven, eight, and nine o'clock. I'd have to wait until nine o'clock, 9.30, for that last snope to fall. Then people would start leaving. So around 10 o'clock, I could come over here and find a parking spot, because you couldn't find parking before that. And I was able to move stuff over to my house from my apartment. It was a challenging couple last weeks of last December before officially moving into my house on New Year's Day and turning in the keys a day or two before here. Anyway, that's, that's, that was my apartment right up there in this little kind of cozy little alcove area right off of Market Street. You know, just a couple hundred yards from the Starbucks. This might be my favorite little kind of hidden park over here, a little square called Savannah Square, based on the squares in Savannah. Starbucks closes at 3 today. They're not open their full hours. A lot of places aren't even open today, for good reason. Starbucks, thankfully, is open to get people their proper caffeine for the morn. Running over some acorns. So this house was all Snoopy-fied for Halloween, and now they've converted it to Christmas. They have a lot of Peanuts gang for Christmas also. There will be more full, ce full celebration Christmas decor right before Christmas Day, but I'm showing a little bit of the stuff that's popping up now. You know, it's interesting. I've been doing YouTube long enough to kind of see the different uh, incarnations. Is that a word? The, the uh, evolution of not only YouTube, but I also wear my seatbelts in here too. 
guess it's I guess it would be a rule to drive you can drive to drive this around a glorified golf cart needs a seatbelt I just do it out of habit that's what I'm in my car so the seatbelt automatically without even thinking and I got enough caffeine jolting through the bones I probably need to be strapped in well will be once I chug this or sip on this also last night was the first night still still kind of tired from my last trip jet lag wise with the time difference and very little sunlight in Alaska when I was out there even though that's been like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago whenever it was but I finally last night went to sleep at a decent hour slept all night and got up at seven or eight this morning which is kind of back onto my usual track but when I first started doing YouTube I didn't realize you could even make money I didn't realize that there were you know the way people always ask how do you get paid and the way that the way that works with me is I put little ads in the video throughout the video I put one you know six or seven minutes in another one at 14 minutes in trying to go overload with it I don't let I don't let YouTube decide where the ads go I try to space it out where it's not too annoying for the viewer and that's it that's the only way I make money. I have no other, no other avenue of revenue anymore. I don't do any of the other, any kind of other platforms or make anything off that. And I've, I've done pretty well doing it that way. But I didn't realize that for a long time. The first few years, first couple years, I didn't make anything, and it took me a while to, to get to the point I am. But it's interesting now because I think a lot of people, when I started it, it was just a platform to. Let me just show people what I'm doing and travels. I'm excited about this. Maybe others are excited about this. But I feel like as generations go on, people know, people choose YouTube as a career. And you go into it thinking and knowing that you could make a little bit of money and a living. And that wasn't something that I went into thinking that. So I kind of have a little bit of a different mindset, I believe, about some things. Or maybe I don't, but I feel like I feel like I'm a little have a little different mindset than than what someone now who would be getting to a point where they're like, you know what I should do? Start doing, grab a camera, start filming things. I think they would probably be going into it, maybe not for different reasons, the same reasons, but just just in a different 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 mindset. If that makes any sense? Probably doesn't. Huh? Again. Half the stuff I say is kind of incoherent rambling, but hopefully you get it. But even though I have gotten a little more rest and kind of gotten back on a normal sleeping schedule, still a little tired. A little tired today, but I am waking up now that I got the caffeine in the system. I am also very grateful and thankful to be back in a place where the sun is up more than a couple hours a day. It did not, I did not realize how much that could throw your system off. But it really can. Because I'm such a daylight guy. I'm like all daylight. I get up when the sun comes up, maybe an hour or two before. And when the sun goes down, I usually start to wind down. I start editing my videos, but I usually have a full day of sunlight. So I'm able to get a lot accomplished. When you don't have that, your system is kind of thrown for a little bit of a loop. It takes a little time to reset. All right, I'm gonna go drop off my golf cart, get in my automobile, head down to St. Cloud, and I'm gonna go by a place I've gone by multiple times, but again, I'm reflecting a little bit today. I'm gonna go by a spot where I started my first video. It's all about being thankful and grateful for paths you choose in life path I chose in life, did not have any inkling that it would lead me to where I am now. When I first started doing this stuff, never did I assume that I would live here in this town and be able to travel at will, on a whim, impulsively, to wherever I wanted to go and be driving when I am home and not traveling, be driving mini Marge around looking at Christmas decor for the holiday season in 2024. Never thought that day would be here. In fact, I didn't even know what would become of it. Up, oh, another glorified golf cart. I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking for the future. All I could think of is I need to go see stuff, sleep in the back of my van. As long as I have something to feed my face and survive in that aspect, that's all that matters. And reality, 
I kind of had a good point. That's all that really did matter. That kind of still is my philosophy in a weird way. Feed my face and do things. There's Santa, inflatable Santa. You're gonna be a busy guy soon enough. You're gonna be a busy guy, Santa. Enjoy this day, relaxing. This is about to get hectic for you. It's a very tall, frosty the snowman over there too. Very tall, frosty, inflatable. Ooh, you don't see a lot of Thanksgiving decor and celebration. There was the one house I started the intro on, but this place, Look at this, there is a skeleton pilgrim right there and a turkey pilgrim. But I believe that they have adorned the skeleton as a, as a pilgrim. The pilgrim hat has fallen off though, but that is pretty dang, pretty dang cool. Yeah, you see a lot of Halloween decor put up. You see a lot of Christmas decor. You rarely see Thanksgiving. So when I see it, I stop. Nicely done. Also, I really love living in this town. Love it. I feel like I live like a movie set. I've stated this before. Anyone that watches my videos know I know what knows I reiterate things a lot. You film every day, you're gonna reiterate stuff. But yeah. Right? Doesn't it feel like it's movie set. Here we go. Look at this. Happy Thanksgiving. More inflatables. That one's got a little football football suit on. This uh, turkey right here. I like it. I like it. All right, jumped in my car, drove over to Kissimmee. This is one of the many retail establishments I worked at. I worked at a lot of places five years. I worked at the Feast Store five years. I worked at Office Max five years. I worked at Kmart five years. This was a Kmart. This was a regular Kmart, and then it converted to a big K. Kmart tried to compete with Super Walmarts, and they did their version of a grocery store. I worked here when they did the changeover. Obviously, there's no more Kmarts. Kmart has gone by the wayside. It's a lot of places. It's interesting. A lot of the retail places I worked at are closed now. So if I would have stayed working at them, I would have had to found other places to work. Walmart's still kicking, obviously, but. A lot of the other ones are gone. That is not a real tree. That is a cell phone tower. I worked here at the turn of the century. In fact, when the year 2000 hit, I was working here. I also worked here around the time frame when Titanic came out on VHS. And I can remember being in there. Worked full time here for five years on stock crew. And then when they changed it to Big K, worked in the grocery area. And I can remember being in there when we opened the doors and people were lined up waiting to get Titanic on VHS. It was a line right there. They ran in, we had the pallet up front, the pallet sold out instantaneously. It was such a popular hit. Smoking area used to be over there. The roommate I had at the time he used to smoke and he used to go over there to smoke. Anyway, memories right here. And not just working here, but other memories. It's also right here in this parking lot in I believe December of 2010, which would have been eight months, nine months before I quit the last retail, retail job I had at the Feet Store in St. Cloud, Florida. Quit that job, job on August of 2011. Wild that I've been full-time, I keep doing the air quotes, full-time on YouTube since then. Was kind of part-time before then, you know, working and then filming on the weekends. And then in August of 11, quit the job, moved in the van, started traveling. But I was in the van before that and to pre-plan to start traveling in the van and to pay off the van early enough, I paid it off a year early just so I could quit the job with no debt. My philosophy was if I don't have any debt, then I could just do what I want. If I'm broke, at least I don't owe money. That was my whole thing. I could sleep in the van, find food, as long as I have a, a, little, bit of, a little bit of gas to get where I gotta go. That's the, that's pretty much my only philosophy was going from that route. So I wanted to pay the van off early. So I moved out of my apartment that I had in St. Cloud and for about eight or nine months was in the van, going to work. And then once the van was paid off a year early, I ended up starting to try to put my two week notice in. And then on August 9th, the day before my birthday in 2011, quit there. And then a month or two later in October, 2011, 
started traveling. That's when I did the Six Flags video and the, you know, all that stuff, which kind of like culminated in the, the beginning of my YouTube quote unquote career. But right here in this parking lot in December, I believe it was December of 2010, I did a video talking about van dwelling, how I was going to move into the van. And at the time, I just I had tunnel vision of like, this could work. I believed it could work. I knew I could sleep in a van and survive. Again, did not ever think I'd be coming back here and standing here. 14 years later, realizing, you know what? I wish I could go back 14 years ago and just be watching myself film right here. And then after, you know, recording, walk up and go, it's, it's going to work out, man. It's going to be fine. It's going to be totally fine. But if you go, you can actually search that. It's Adam the Woo Van Dwelling. If you just search that, you can see that clip. And I was pretty gung-ho on knowing that it would work. I had that, I had the tunnel vision that I, I was all in. It's also just about the 15th anniversary of the first video I ever uploaded, which was on New Year's Eve. 2009 New Year's Eve 2009 would let's say New Year's Day even though it was uploaded the day before of 2010 so New Year's Eve of this year in about a month a little over a month well let's say a month it's gonna be 15 years of my YouTube anniversary on my main channel the Adam the Woo channel this is the Daily Woo which started in 2012 but that channel is what kind of jump-started me doing this and gave me the motivation. I knew I could travel, go across the U.S. and film and do things. And if someone, even five people, ten people, someone else, a friend I had never met across the U.S., across the world, an acquaintance that I couldn't put a face to, the name, as far as people that were chiming in, I still remember seeing people comment that I did not know. And I think, I do not know who this is. Someone has stumbled on this still to this day. Obviously it has expansively grown since those days, but it still kind of blows my mind that that is how this worked. Being in a band for years, punk band, I would always promote the shows to twist people's arm, try to convince them to come out and watch your, watch your band play flyering none of that is how I have end up being on this platform I just put stuff out there and people found it it's so bizarre to me that it worked so for that I'm thankful totally different totally different mindset game plan than what I had beforehand when it came to being in the band. Even though I did apply a lot of being in a band, the punk stuff, those, you know, core values and things going into making videos. You'll notice a lot of people who make videos who used to be in bands. I think a lot of that has to do that. In fact, me moving into the van, traveling in the van was so easy for me because I had done that in a band with a group of other guys. And I thought, how easy would it be to just have it be me? A lot simpler than being with a group of people. So that's why it was so, for me, simple to just kind of take that step and do it. But it happened right here in this parking lot. Anyway, got to get going. So since the last time I was over here, they have paved a little walking, riding, driving path right along the old St. Cloud Sugar Mill. Again, New Year's Eve. I believe it was New Year's Eve of 2009 which next month will be 15 years. So I uploaded my first video, grabbed a camera that was the worst quality ever. Came out here with my buddy Cody, Cody. We kind of did like a half exploration, half goofy video, probably more goofy than serious. Right over here at the old sugar mill. And it got me thinking, you know what? There's a lot of stuff on Highway 192 I could film on my nights and days off from the job, full-time job I had at the feed store. So that's what I started doing. That that started this whole thing. 
that idea of being here, I've talked about this before, but because this will be the last time I'm able to visit this before it hits the 15 year anniversary of me doing YouTube. Since I am reminiscing while heading over to my parents for Thanksgiving Day, it just makes sense to stop off here and show this again. 15 years. I didn't really make an income, you know, a livable income, probably till about 2015. I moved to Orange County, California with a few roommates, a girlfriend I had at the time, and two roommates. There was four of us. We rented a house at the Orange Circle, and I had enough for my cut, my quarter of the rent. And things started to grow a little bit there as far as the YouTube thing. But it all that was pretty much the first time since I had quit my job in August of 2011 that I started to, to have a little bit of money to pay some bills, that I was able to get out of debt. I had a lot of credit cards I racked up, hoping, crossing my proverbial fingers to that hopefully this whole thing would work out. And even, it's wild to think too that February of next year, so coming up just in a couple months, will be the 10 year anniversary of me moving to SoCal the first time. Time just really does fly. So 15 years next month. Ooh, something was splashing around over here. Is this a gator or a bird? Oh, there's a, is that an eagle? I vividly remember in 2015, 16, 17, let's say 15, 16, 17, the people would ask, oh, what do you do? How do you make money? And I kind of explain. Again, it was, it was barely getting by then, but I was was getting a little bit of a little bit of income to pay rent and travel and things. And the most amount of comments I would get from people in person, you know, friends, family, acquaintances, people I would just meet randomly. I'd say, what are you going to do? I'd say, what are you going to do when YouTube ends? What are you going to do when there is none of that anymore? What are you going to do when YouTube ends? I haven't heard that in years. No one ever says that. In fact, a percentage of those who did say that are now doing this. It has been years. I don't know if that vernacular even rolls off the tongue from anyone anymore. Most people are kind of striving to figure out a way to make this work. In fact, I've seen quite a few people who didn't really comprehend it at first, didn't really get it, that are now doing it. And for me, it was just kind of a fluke. It was kind of just random luck that I stumbled on the fact that you could just upload videos, adventures, video adventures, and travel. I've done a lot of air quotes today. So for me, I'm grateful for that. For me, I'm very thankful that I got in at the right time. I've talked about this before, but I have made a career out of consistency. For me, it's just about consistency. Stay in the course, uploading daily, carrying on, for me, that works. It doesn't work for everyone else. A lot of people have a different format and they are very successful with their format, but for me, that's kind of worked for me. So for that, very thankful, very grateful. Again, if I could go back 15 years, next month will be 15 years that I was right here filming my first video that I uploaded ever. Adventure videos. Started with the abandoned stuff up and down 192, did that for a while, a year and a half. Then I quit the job, started traveling in the van, and the rest is history, so they say. And in all honesty, I feel like the beginning is just about to start. Now next year, I've stated I'm gonna be going overseas, doing a lot of different countries. There's so many countries I wanna to go to. Tapering back on the US stuff. So it's a new chapter, it's a new era for me the beginning for me after 15 years stepping into new areas excited about it. Alaska was just a little bit of a tease even though that's not international I was out of my comfort zone there 
I'm excited about getting out of my comfort zone once again. But thank you all this time for watching. Those who maybe just stumbled on this channel, stumbled on my life recently, or maybe those who've been watching since I was right here 15 years ago or somewhere in the middle. I'm grateful for you, thankful that I have a vest, people have a vested interest in what I do, whether it be minuscule, you know, every so often, whether it be every day, whether it be, you know, once a month. It all kind of works out. Consistency. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. Thanks for watching. The vlog. The bird. The vlog is over. Oh yeah, bonus footage. Just want to state one other thing. January 1st, starting the international. All new places, all new things. Going to attempt to do two weeks to 20 days a month in other countries. I'm going to try to do one country per month. There may be a month a year where I don't get to a country, but I'm going to attempt to do a different country every month for a couple weeks. That's the goal. Just putting that out there. But till then, it's going to be more of the same. Going to going out to California in about five, six, seven days, give or take a day. I'll be out there for a few days. Then some family is meeting me out there. Then we go to Hawaii. So why am I? Why I am in? While I am in. California early December. Probably gonna hit up some theme parky stuff. You know, the typical LA stuff I do, but for the holidays, for Christmas. Then Hawaii. It's a family trip, so I can't guarantee there's gonna be any mind blowing stuff. But I will be filming my days there at Alani and then come back here a few days before Christmas. And then I'm here for the week of Christmas, up until New Year's, and then right out the gate, bam, international. So bear with me in December, and bear with me when I'm home for that week every month, or that 10 days every month. Also, when I'm home, it's going to be celebration stuff, Disney World stuff, localized Orlando stuff. When I'm home, because I travel a lot. When I'm home, I'm not going to venture off too far. I'm not going to go venture hours away from here when I'm home. The trade-off is when I'm home, I do localized stuff. And when I travel, I'll travel. But I'm going to be gone more than I'm home. So keep that in mind. All right, that's it. Happy Thanksgiving.